Hey, this is Sister Sparrow and the Dirty Birds, and you're watching 1019 Kink Radio in the Skype Live studio. Yeah. All right, Sister Sparrow and the Dirty Birds. Oh, clap again. Clap louder. That was an incredible performance. 3 p.m. on a Thursday, and they're still bringing it like they're headlining tonight. And they're doing two performances tonight, and they still came in here for you guys, so give it up. Thank you. Now, I have a copy of the new album. Congratulations, by the way, on The Weather Below, Sister Spare on the Dirty Birds, which, if I understand correctly, was recorded close by in Seattle. Yes, it was. Uh, just outside of Seattle at Bear Creek Studios. Um, we're really, really excited about it. We did it in December. We took some time off the road, which we never do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're really, really pumped about it. We're gonna All the songs that you're going to hear today are on that. So check it out if you like what you hear. <laughs> now, you guys do have a pretty prodigious touring schedule. How do you guys keep that up and, and still make a new record? Well, yeah, we had to schedule it in, you know, around all the gigs and stuff. And like I said, we really don't very often take any time off because uh, we... We're crazy? We're crazy, <laughs> yeah. We're, and we love what we do, so we feel very lucky to be able to do that. But, uh, yeah, December was like a slow month, apparently, so we were like, okay, let's fit it in. Um, so, we, yeah, we took three whole weeks. Woo! <laughs> and did the record, um, which is pretty, it was the first time we've ever done that for, and this is our fourth uh, studio recording. So, um, yeah, it was amazing. We loved it. What, what brought you to Seattle? What brought you to the Pacific Northwest and specifically to Bear Creek? Well, um, we loved the studio and also the producer that did this, is, his name is Ryan Hadlock, and uh, we're a big fan of his, and so we wanted to wanted to get in with him, and he was excited about the project as well. He, um, he did, he's worked with the Lumineers and Vance Joy, and I lost my earplug. Um, so he's just an amazing producer, and we, we really clicked and had a really good time together. So. You, you know, both Vance Joy and the Lumineers have both played on this stage before, so oh. in very good company, especially awesome. with the record. By the way, it's amazing. It is The Weather Below. Make sure you get it, buy it, love it, learn all the words, <laughs> and then you can sing it back to them tonight at First Tech Stage at 6 p.m., Oregonian Front port stage at 8 30 i've got to ask how do you how do you keep your, you know your voices everything going through this kind of touring schedule you're playing three shows tonight like how do you guys maintain at this level when you're this excited i mean does it is there ever a, a, a time when you're like you know can we just play some really slow acoustic jams for a while <laughs> no actually we never really do that um my Personal secret is a lot of sleep. I take a lot of naps, and I drink a lot of water, and especially in this uh, heat wave we're having here. But uh, you know, I think we kind of keep each other going, and the music off, off, like often picks us up, or always picks us up. So yeah, it kind of it works out somehow. But yeah, like Sasha said, we're crazy. So. <laughs> now take me through the the writing process for you guys. I mean, when you are touring, uh, you know, do do you eke out a couple minutes each day to just try and write uh, like? a verse, a lick, anything. I mean, you, any of you guys can jump in. How do you guys write a record while also touring when you only have a three-week window to, right. to do well, an entire record? I'm the principal songwriter, and off, it's really actually hard for me to write on the road, um, but I try. I've been getting a little better about it, but a lot of those songs were actually written a long time ago, so before, long before we started going into the studio. So they were kind of ready. We road tested them and, and brought them out and played them a, a million times. So once we got into the studio, it was a little bit more streamlined. Um, so that's kind of how we work. And then, yeah, I mean, I actually, I got here early. I've been in Portland for a couple of days and I've been enjoying your wonderful city. And I was able to get a little rain done yesterday and the poor boys drove three days straight from Dallas. So give it up for these dirty burns. <laughs> Oh, a lot, of, a lot of credit. I mean, there, there's seven people on stage. How do you guys fare You're traveling, you know, city to city, <laughs> gig to gig? I, I do see that there's one guy with a harmonica. He's got to feel like he's getting kind of uh, a rough trade compared to some of the bigger instruments on stage. I don't know. He oh, right. I mean, he's got to he's got to pack all of what you know. <laughs> yeah, a one-foot carrier. Yeah, he's or. got a pretty significant pedal board. Oh, never mind. I no longer feel anything yeah, for no. him. <laughs> <laughs> that's my brother, actually. That's my big brother, Yeah, Jackson. do you want to introduce the band here? Sure, so that's Jackson. Jackson Kinchelin. This is Mr. Josh Myers on the bass. We got Dan Boyden on the drums. Sasha Brown on guitar. <laughs> and we got Brian Graham playing the berry. And he plays tenor, you'll see later. And Mr. Phil Rodriguez on the trumpet. Yeah. Yeah. Phil, 
Phil's taking a chance here with the Lakers hat. Oh, that's, I know. Well, that's a little rough here in Portland. Born and raised in Southern California, so I can't help it. We'll give that to you because the Blazers are finally better than the Lakers they for are. the first time in my lifetime. Lakers so I'm okay are bad with it. Right don't, now. Open, <laughs> don't open up that can of worms right yeah. now. We are so excited to have you guys here, and good luck again tonight. First tech stage at 6 p.m., Oregonian Front Porch stage at 8.30. Make sure you go out, support them, tell all your friends. This is Sister Sparrow and the Dirty Birds. Thank you.